everyone, I'm Michelle. Today we are going to talk about the rhetorical fallacy. And I want to discuss the fallacy of division with you. So first, what is fallacy of division? Fallacy of division occurs when people argue that something is true for the whole, must be true for the parts of the whole. For example, suppose A is part of B. B has property. Therefore, A must have property. It seems right, but it doesn't always lead us to the correct conclusion because we can't tell if the part or the whole have the same quality. So, let's make another easy example. We all know that penguins are black and white. And some old TV shows are black and white too. Therefore, penguins are some old TV shows. It's totally nonsense, but it also demonstrates how this kind of style of argument fell. So, I actually had experienced this kind of stereotype in my life. Um, when people talk about Taiwanese Aborigines, the first thing they came to their mind must be some powerful singer like Aline or Zhang Huimei. If not, the famous athletes must came into their mind. People used to have this kind of stereotype that they think all the Taiwanese Aborigines are good at sport and have nice voice. Unfortunately, I, as a Taiwanese Aborigines, I am suck at singing and I don't even play sport. And it kind of bothered me that, that when they find out that I am a Taiwanese Aborigines, they start to ask weird questions like, have you ever hunt with your parents? Or how fast you can run? Sometimes they even ask me to sing in front of all the people because they want to hear that how nice my voice is. I just want to tell them that not all the Taiwanese Aborigines are good at something. Because me, I am super normal. Fallacy of divisions actually happen in our daily life very often. For example, the gay marriage legalization become the hot mess in Taiwan. The positive side and the opposing side fight against each other all the time. Some people start to criticize Christians about violating gays' rights because many of them oppose gays due to their beliefs. However, as a Christian as my father is, he is quite support gay marriage because he thinks that everybody has their right to get married. And he feels wrong when people say all the Christians are homophilia. It is quite unfair for, for those Christians who actually support gay marriage. Because when they meet people, people only carry a negative stereotype toward them. But we are all individuals. We have our own thoughts and we, are, we have our own belief. People need to stop labeling others and creating oppositions. So, when you come to communicate, you must be careful about the fallacy of division because it's some, sometimes it didn't lead you to the right conclusions.